it is very tempting to just like throw a chatbot onto your website and say like, this can do whatever you want. How can I help you? But making sure that there really is a main goal and a main purpose of this is a great starting point. So that's where you can sort of start and say, we are putting this on here because we want it to do this. And it can do other things, but this is like the main thing that we're trying to accomplish, which for our example is going to be making a purchase, like making a transaction. We can do customer support. We can do these other things, but we want a person to be able to place an order and you know, them placing an order is that metric that we're tracking as the yes, this was accomplished or no, this was not accomplished. And then secondly is making sure that you're using the features that are available to you on whatever interface you're on. So if you're on Messenger, you're on website, make sure that you are using that media or you're using these carousels just so that you can make the experience more enriching and you can break up your big walls of text with emojis or things like buttons so that you can get the person to make it all the way through the experience. Because if you're just sending block after block after block of text, it can get really taxing. Tailing off of that too is to make sure you're not including things that aren't necessary, like how was your weekend or something like that, and making sure that everything you are including is entirely necessary. You may want to have some personalization in there or some transitions in between your questions, but you want to make sure that you're getting them from point A to point B as quickly as possible with as less friction as possible, as opposed to just like flexing what your chatbot can do. Um, That's definitely something that you want to avoid. And so personalizing, remembering important details, those are all ways that you can get that entertainment into it. And a way that you can get a person to trust the chatbot more is by recalling this important information, but it's a way that you're not just like adding additional filler language and content. Lastly is to plan for detours. So that would be something where a person is trying to go off track. We want to do our best to get them to come back to the experience. We want to be laying out to them. These are the things that we can do. These are the things that we can't do. But knowing that humans are human and they're going to try to press the limits of that and they're going to try to just go in all sorts of places. So making sure that you have a plan for that beyond just I don't understand. That's the chatbot curse that everyone thinks all they are hearing from chatbots is I can't understand. Sorry, I can't understand. So making sure that you have other plans. And I think we're going to talk about this during the demo, just how you can do that and more tips about how you can do that in a way that you're not frustrating your user and you are allowing them to continue to have that trust in you as you're going on.